In our health alert tonight, an emerging fungus that has sickened hundreds of Americans appears to be drug resistant. The CDC is calling it a serious global health threat and wants you to know what to look for. Dr. Nandy is joining us now with more on this fungus. So, Doc, a lot of us want to know where did it come from in the first place? Silent, it's still really a mystery as to how this fungus called Candida auris really got here. Doctors first found this strain back in 2009 after an elderly woman in Tokyo had her ear swabbed. Now cases of it have been found in over 30 countries and here in the U.S. we've had 587 diagnoses. The majority of them have been in New York. New Jersey and Illinois. Now this fungus is very concerning. Why? Because according to the CDC, it can become resistant to three classes of antifungals, making it a superbug. So can a person actually die from an infection, Dr. Nandy? Absolutely, Glenda. Unfortunately, the answer is yes. It's estimated that between 30 and 60 percent of people who've had it have died. A really serious stuff. So many of them had serious illnesses that raised their risk of dying. So what exactly is Candida auris? Well, it's a type of yeast that can enter a person's bloodstream and it can cause wound infections, ear infections, and bloodstream infections. It's also been found in urine and respiratory samples as well. So doctor, can anyone get this fungus? And probably most importantly, how is it spread? Yeah. So Alan, Candida auris has caused many outbreaks in healthcare settings. It can linger on medical equipment and surfaces. It can also be carried in a person's body. You may not be sick with it or have an infection, but you could be spreading it around and not even know it. But there are risk factors to be aware of, and these are the risk factors. They include recent surgery, antifungal or broad-spectrum antibiotic use and diabetes. Those who are at the highest risk includes folks with a weakened immune system, anyone living in nursing homes or have feeding tubes, breathing tubes and catheters entering their body. Now most healthy folks don't usually get this type of infection, but to help prevent passing this on, I'd recommend you do what? Clean your hands thoroughly, wash them before and after visiting a loved one in a hospital or nursing home. And, and I talked about broad spectrum antibiotics. We've got to watch those in order to get a handle on this. And we'll keep an eye on this, on this fungus and make sure that we let all the viewers know what's going on. Mm -hmm. We know you will, Dr. Nandy. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And if you have a question or a health concern for Dr. Nandy, you can reach him at Dr. Nandy uh, at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or or Twitter.